bees have actually made it into space. Why would you want to put bees in space? That, that's terrific. That is really, really good. And you could sit, think that we're going to get another five or six of these just out of this one frame is terrific. My name is Lachlan Thompson. I'm an aerospace engineer. And I live in Emerald, Victoria. That's my observatory. It looks for space junk and it provides essential information to the space agencies on what might bump into a satellite so that they can schedule when to actually launch. Being a scientist, I want to know what's going on in the high. What are the bees actually doing? The temperatures here in June get down to minus three degrees Celsius. Each hive is put on a, a balance that has a capacity up to about 200 kilograms. We were able to use those to actually plot the weight of the hive. To our surprise, even though we are in the middle of winter, the weight was going up. So, right, let's harvest. You turn on the honey flow. I never resist this. Oh, that's nice. Ancient Greeks thought that honey was divine and a gift from the gods, and it is. Well, it's a gift from the bees. Bees have actually made it into space. Why would you want to put bees in space? We need bees to pollinate plants. We have astronaut friends who have tried themselves to be pseudo bees and pollinate um, peas and tomatoes. They had a 10% success rate and it took 33 minutes to pollinate one flower. Now I'm sure a bee can do that a lot faster and better. And in 2003 on Space Shuttle Columbia, I designed an experiment to look at how spiders behave in space. Spiders are a natural control for bees and pollinators. The spiders made webs just like they did on Earth, and yes, they caught pollinators. The honey we harvest today, beautiful um, flavour, and uh, strikes me of uh, flower and gum. How can you get better than that? Uh, the interesting thing is that on our property there are no flowering gums, and the nearest flowering gums are three kilometres away. So they're working hard, but it's beautiful. And the fascinating thing is that we found that each frame has a different flavour. This year was our first real harvest and we gave our jars of honey to members of the family and the response was, wow, this is great. How can we help? <laughs> can we get more? <laughs> Science is vital to humankind restoring the planet. We need to take measurements of our beehives and monitoring what is happening with them and how that is connected to the climate. And so each day, whilst I discover something new, I can use that, design an activity for National Science Week by just looking at what bees do in their own garden. It's really learning about something new. It's exciting, it's interesting, it's challenging and yes you can read things in a book but if you can actually um, experience it and live it and live it with the bees then that makes life exciting and interesting. I'm Jess, I now work at Google, but I used to be an astrophysicist back in Australia. Hanging out there at sunset, you can see the Empire State Building and there's just the bees, the sunset, New York. It made this city really feel like home.